Well, we're finally on the home stretch getting this two seat buggy box rebuilt. The last thing to do is put the floorboards in and some final iron work. One thing about floorboards that I have noticed over the years on this style of buggy box, they are never or very seldom all the same width. Hardwood comes in random widths, random lengths, and it seems like the fashion used to be take whatever came off the shelf and stick her in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got some different widths on this poplar and I'm just going to trim them up so it's all parallel and square and get them fitted in. There's two boards that I'm putting in in ash because those will be the boards right in front of each seat that takes the weight of the passengers or the driver when they get in and out. But I'm going to put this floorboard in and let's get this box going.
Well, kind of a unique feature on this style of box is it has a light tin metal cover on the corners, on these round corners. Well, the two back ones were there. One front one was missing and the other one was just plum shot. I don't have rolls that are small enough to roll these little corners. So I'm headed out to my brother-in-law, Rick Bischoff, who runs a luminary shop, and get his help to make these corners. Well, after visiting a little bit about the difference between putting the original light steel back on or I thought maybe possibly I could put brass on because then it wouldn't rust. But Rick had some 22 gauge there that was just about right. The old ones with Rick's gauge seemed like they measured about maybe 20 gauge. But we're going to make this 22 gauge work. He's got the shears and he's got a nice little roller that he rolls the tail stalks on his lamps that's just right for bending these corners. Now when Rick rolls new tail stalks for his lamps, they are at a taper. And this little roller is designed to do tapers. So he has to swap back and forth. And this is just the craftsmanship that Rick has on trying to make a straight roll on a tapered roller. Well, he's got a real nice fit, so I'm going to head back to the shop and see if these can get installed on this buggy box.
Well, thanks for following along as we look at the inside mechanics of how this style buggy box goes together. Now, not all two-seat buggies go together on this style. When you get into the spring wagon, mountain wagon family of buggies, they're a little different, and we'll get into those eventually, too. But this is a conclusion of this style on this Democrat box. We'll get into building the seats here soon. So once again, appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.